Well, it's uh, May 6, 2024, and I don't know why I bothered, but I am so ticked off, I'm, I could spit nickels. Uh, this is a message for rednecks, and I'm not talking the men only. I'm talking the women, the women that are in their lives, who don't give a damn that they're getting poisoned and getting cancer and getting brain damage from being poisoned. All they want is their friggin' pensions. And I'm not saying all women are like that, but by God, Sudbury, Ontario, there's too many. And I just got a message from a really dear friend and she's still trying to educate people so they stop making fun of me guess what people i don't give a darn make all the fun you want i've been crippling since i'm six years old and i'm 82 and i survived without cancer and i was poisoned 10 times over so you know my research was really for the next generation for the children but i'm just going to point out okay Parkinsonism disease is caused by mold, and my early research didn't know that. Canola oil, and that's a long story I'm not going to go into, but King Charles knows all about it. Not that anybody cared about when he tried to fight it. Multiple chemical sensitivities is an autoimmune disorder caused by being poisoned. And there's a blood test that will show it. You'll have weak T and B cell function, and your immune system has been compromised. And it can start when you're born, one year old, to 80 years old. And environmental intolerance is simply a side effect. Okay. Now, while I was waiting for my Jeep uh, to pick it up, because I'm changing the winter tires, yeah, I gave up. There'll be no skiing this year. And transferring to my summer tires. I did some checking in my own research, and I did have to make a few changes, but it's not a big deal. The okra daily smoothie, I added a few blueberries, a handful of frozen organic cherries and blueberries for my sciatica inflammation, which is being caused by not just chemicals, but I now have a tumor doing new nerve damage so I have to keep changing and I've been poisoned so much all my life because our society and our food and our air and our water and our beverages are so full of poison that my digestion is severely damaged and the fact that I can eat anything is a miracle I'm having flashbacks so don't mind me I'm gonna bounce around a little bit but back in 1994 I got poison, don't know what, forget what it was, but I did manage to cover my biography of most of it and list most of everything that poisoned me. And all I could eat was potatoes and sour cream for many months. And it was a way of detoxifying that I didn't even know about, it, but I was just so sick and I didn't know about okra then. Okay, okra is a lot easier for me. But there are people who are allergic to okra, and I found a way for them as well. And that's under mast cell disease. That's partly genetic and partly by being poisoned as a child. And anyway, so uh, when I got mold poisoning on organic fruits in 2021, I couldn't mix fruit with greens. I had to, again, I've had to do this since 1966. Detox and separate my food groups. But right now, we've changed it again. We are adding a little bit of fruit. And, I, and, and it's okay, but I, for one hour after having my smoothie, I can't move around. I have to give it time to my digestion system to digest. And I have to make sure my supplements aren't too early in the morning. Um, and just for the record, since the day I was poisoned at six years old, I wake up sick. For whatever reason, when I sleep, poisons inside. I get poisoned from the inside out. And I wake up sick and I have to slowly move around and, and, and coffee. Not saying it's good for everybody, but coffee reverses the attacks. And then by 2 o'clock, I'm okay. I went to school that way. I went to work that way. I, I 
lived my life that way. Anyway, I did 38 years of research on how to combine foods to get the maximum nutrition. But as I looked at my own research this morning, as my digestive damage is now completely changed, I can't tolerate mixing that many food groups together to get the maximum nutrition in one meal. It just doesn't work for me. I'm separating it. Um, I have two smoothies daily and one meal. But everybody's different. And I'm not in the mood to redo all that research because what I have discovered is that people with mold and toxic chemical poisoning, including weak T and B cell functioning, and you can get a blood test to prove that, not in Canada, but you can in the United States and some parts of Europe, an autoimmune disorder. No two people are alike. So what works for one may not work for another. So what you have to do is the elimination program. Now the Seventh-day Adventist diet is what worked for me in 1966. But it stopped working in 1986 that when a doctor forced me to take Benadryl and collapse my immune system. And they're still treating people with multiple chemical sensitivities with Benadryl and that's not going to work. A poison is a poison is a poison. It's not going to cure you. You have to detox and then you have to go on a prevention program. And that means you can't keep driving in traffic and being poisoned. You've got to wear a gas mask. If you work in the mines, you've got to wear a gas mask. If you're a mechanic, you've got to wear a gas mask. Because if you don't, even if you don't get cancer, you're going to get brain damage and you're going to pass a genetic mutation to your children. Now, Dr. Jaffe did that research in 1994. And I am so sick of trying to educate people because they're just too stupid. And, and truthfully, I'm not doing this for people in Sudbury. I give up on them a long time ago. But there are the future generations that aren't going to be quite as dumb as this one. Oh, give me a break. Anyway, the elimination diet is you first have to detox with okra if you can. If not, go with mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. There are, they, they won't reverse the brain damage, but they will pull out poison. And be careful about which mushrooms. Just stick to the simple, organic, button white mushrooms. Keep it simple, people. Don't go fancy because mushrooms are a fungus and they're all different. And the white button is the least toxic. Oh my God, that's not supposed to do that. Okay, where am I? <sighs> I am so angry. Anyway. Keep a daily journal, go on Google Docs, because you can do that for free, and you can keep track. All your reactions, and it's one food a day after you detox, and keep a daily journal, and with all your reactions, and once you come up with the solution, and you're really well, and when I mean well, you feel good enough you can go dancing or climbing a mountain, then share it on YouTube. Because that's the only place that may be able to help humanity. Because it should never just be about you. You've got to try and help the next generation coming up. Because Facebook will eliminate your account when you die and you'll disappear like you never existed. But YouTube does keep you for generations. So YouTube right now is the only one that I know of. Plus my free website which I've already posted a thousand times but what you go through it should be benefiting all of mankind all of humanity every woman and child might even help a few animals who knows so uh, do give the don't just do it for yourself get outside of yourself it should be about other people there are millions all over the world that can be helped Now, most medical associations, thanks to me, yeah, me, 
I went, now recognize Parkinsonism is a disease. Now, Mayo Clinic published all that on multiple chemical sensitivities and Parkinsonism is an autoimmune disorder after being poisoned. And they had that on the journals in 1985 in the United States. But I got it published in Canada through the Women's College Street Hospital in 1997, thanks to the Americans giving me enough media that the medical associations in Canada said, oh, well, maybe this girl's got something she's talking about. But it took me going on the streets in a gas mask to get the publicity. And I had proof from a California clinic that I had weak T and B cell function from being poisoned. And that doesn't get cured. You have to control and prevent. And that's all on my website. Anyhow, yet still today in 2024, few in Canada in the public, especially rednecks in Sudbury, and I don't mean just the men, I'm including the women, have a clue. And I stopped trying to get media for these people. I got the Medical Legal Associations. That's all that mattered to me. And it's worldwide. And it's all over Google. And I've done my job. I'm not here to fight with the rest of you jerks. To hell with you. Because half of you are going to die with cancer. And the rest of you are going to go with, with a disease of the brain. So over and out. I'm done fighting with you people. If you don't get it, tough bananas. And for the children, thank you for loving me when nobody else did. And thank you to those friends of mine that I have left. One in Sudbury. Only one. And a few around the world. Thank you, all of you. Over and out. Yes, I'm ranting because I am really annoyed. Okay. I'm going to go and have a good day. And I hope you do the same. I am adding this photo slide so that you can see all the research that I did to do get the medical journals and to prevent and control and I was able to get gas mask equipment for millions of people mostly men working in the mines and the factories and in in the military and the firemen so I've done my job and I'm not here to fight rednecks I really not I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it but um, if you want any of that, you can download it on my free website. It's all there. And it's free. Because when I was worth money, nobody cared whether I lived or died. So I vowed that whatever I found, it would be free. And I had a lot of help, people. It wasn't alone. But I'm not going to take time to report all that. I'm just... Most of the people that do know and do care... They're doing just fine. And some of them are beyond help. But we do keep trying. Because the doctors do know. It's the public that doesn't know. And it's not just global warming. It's a lot more than that. It's air, food, water, etc. Enough. Over and out.